Okay, welcome back. Where was I? Oh yeah, the perfect computer. And I was talking about adding those APIs and libraries. Because Wine is a great application. It, it, it makes running loads and scores of self-contained Windows applications on Linux easy. You know, you know, including things like Adobe Photoshop. And many games and many of your more well robust software. However, I will be the first to admit that there is some Windows software that will never run on Wine. Because it is dependent upon code that is part of the Microsoft ABI and libraries, which Microsoft owns the patents on. I keep waiting for this, and you know, if someday Windows begins to really tank, it might happen. Because at the end of the day, Microsoft is interested in how can it license and make money. Right now, it makes a lot of money off of Windows. If it starts to not make money off of Windows, it might decide, you know what, we're going to kill Windows and we're going to, uh, we're going to not just sell Windows, we're going to license our API to the open source community. For people who need to do Windows things but don't want to run the Windows OS. Gamers would buy that in a heartbeat. Um, certain people doing certain pro things. People doing development. That would mean your Linux box is now your sole development box. Because you can actually run the Microsoft API without Windows. The part of Windows you need in the world we live in today is the API and libraries. I don't need Explorer. I don't need all these other things. Microsoft does some good things. And if it's in a self-contained sandbox virtual environment so that, oh look, it's gotten corrupt, it's got a virus, would you like to restore it to factory standard at the push of a button and kill everything? Beep! Yes. That's exactly what I'd like to do. Um, that I'd buy. But, I mean, the price for that is not $300. The price for that is $50 to $100. And I don't ever see Windows becoming $50 to $100 again. The same thing with Apple. You know, the only reason that Apple software doesn't run on other OSs is because Apple wants it not to run on other OSs. If they license the API and, it's not, and allow you to buy it, and that would be the perfect system, because then I'd have one computer that can do everything I can do on all three OS's, and its core is the most secure, well-developed, stable system there is. Linux. If you're not doing those niche things that you need the tools that work best with those proprietary patented APIs and libraries you don't need them and that's the sad realization and that's what's so sad about this whole OS war thing that you know it's the majority of people do not need a Mac they do not need Windows they do not need Linux they need an OS that lets them do what they need to do Linux happens to be the perfect match for that because it's free regardless. So, you know, uh, that's the balance we need. Now, Emic, I don't think, has that particular balance in mind because that would be bad for Apple. That would mean Apple, in the long run, I think both Microsoft and Apple would make more money off of that because I think at the end of the day, both of them would wind up getting $20 per unit of every end consumer computer sold. Not just the ones they ever had in. 
I mean, really, think about that. If it costs you $50 to just buy their API and install it on a free Linux OS, that's 100 bucks for your system. If it was licensed like Crossover, where you could put it on as many machines as you're using at one time, that means every end user is a $20 profit for those companies. Because the rest, the other $30 goes to wholesale and retail markup and to future development and so on and so forth. You're honestly going to tell me these companies wouldn't make more money just raking in $20 a computer user to just let other people use their work and continue to develop. You're going to tell me, really, that wouldn't be more profitable for them? Rather than playing this, you have to pick me. You must be me. You can't use me if you're the other guy. War. It's, everybody loses because at the end of the day, you don't have 100% dominance. If you go the other route, guess what? You get a percentage of 100% versus a percentage versus taking part of the whole, you're getting a piece of every pie. Anyways, that's what's wrong with me. Back to the e-meek. Consider themselves as gods, and they all want to crush the evil Microsoft or Apple. And anyone who utters a single word against the open source software development movement is regarded as a supporter of the ultimate evil. Most of Emic, it's the other way around. Linux doesn't want to crush Microsoft. As a matter of fact, I started Microsoft threads in eight Linux boards, and nobody came in and said, Microsoft must die. You know, sometimes they talked about Microsoft with the M dollar sign. But, you know, for the most part, it was a well-rounded discussion. Microsoft does some things very well. I just wish they'd focus their energy on doing the things they do well instead of trying to force you to buy things they don't do so well. The same goes for Apple. Some don't even have the courage of saying, Vista's pretty good, or I never had no problems with Vista, or Windows 7 is good, or Windows 7 sucks. No, and, you know, as a matter of fact, I'll admit that Vista has a lot of improvements. What I would prefer is that I don't have to use the Windows operating system or that to use the Windows operating system I don't have to choose not to use the Linux operating system and all the tools that go with that. Allow me to run it in virtualization and sell it to me designed that way where I can incorporate the technologies that go with Windows Vista into a virtualization without having to actually buy Vista and fully use Vista and fully dedicate all those resources to a virtual machine. There's so much in Vista I do not need to use the parts of Vista I do need. That's my problem with Vista. I have to use the UI I hate. I have to use. And the same thing with Windows 7. I have to use stuff I don't want to use to get the one little piece I need. If Microsoft would just sell me the one little piece I need and continue to develop that one little piece and the part that any of us really care about and let the rest be up to me because I don't want to use Windows but still they still want to make money off of me, I'd be all for it. I'd be sending them a check every three years. Coming up on time, going to continue this in the next part. Peace out all.